In this question, we want to find the integral of x squared cos x dx, and we're going to be using integration by parts. So over here, you can find a quick reminder of the formula to use. I'm going to start off by saying let u equal x squared, and du by dx, well, that's going to be equal to 2x. So dv by dx is the second part of this term, which is cos x. We have to integrate that. So the integral of cos x is sine x. Popping these into the formula, we'll have the following. We'll have the integral of x squared cos x dx is equal to, it's equal to u multiplied by v. So that's going to give me x squared sine x. So x squared sine x minus the integral of v multiplied by du by dx. So v multiplied by du by dx. So that's 2x sine x with respect to x. So I have x squared sine x minus, I'm going to bring this 2 outside the integral, so I've got 2 and the integral of x sine x dx. And if you notice, we have another occasion where we'll need to use integration by parts. So let me do that over here. We've got the integral of x sine x dx. And I'm going to let u equal x. So du by dx is equal to 1. We have dv by dx. That's going to be sine x. And the integral of sine x is negative cos x. So what we have here is the integral of x sine x dx is equal to. So it's u multiplied by v. So u multiplied by v. That's negative x cos x minus the integral of v multiplied by du by dx. So that's going to be these two multiplied. And that's just going to be negative cos x. Now this negative, I'm going to bring it outside the integral with this negative, which will give me a positive. And then I just have a, a cos x dx here. So we have negative x cos x plus the integral of cos x. The integral of cos x is sine x. So that's plus sine x. Now what I need to do is to bring all of this, so all of this here, we're going to substitute into here. So I have x squared sine x minus 2 times the integral, which is all of this. So that's going to be negative x cos x plus sine x and plus the constant of integration. Now we can sort of simplify this a little bit. So we've got x squared sine x. We've got this negative and that negative, which will make a positive, and it'll be 2x cos x. And then we need to expand with the negative 2 and the plus sine x, which would give me negative 2 sine x. And then just the constant of integration.